In newer versions of Photoshop, they have a handy feature that not many people know about, and this is the ability to recognize fonts from images. And there are a few websites that do this with varying degrees of accuracy, but the Photoshop tool is pretty good and it integrates with other font features. So just as an example here, I have the poster for Inception. And what I'm gonna do is try to match the font of the actual title here. So to activate the feature, it's super simple. Just select your layer, use the marquee tool, select the tool, whatever you want to call it, and just select the actual area of the image where the text is. Try to make sure that you don't select any of the text. So try and make it as fine as possible. Once you've done that, you want to go to type and then around the middle here, you'll have match font. So straight away, it will start trying to match fonts for you. What's worth noting is that it will take a little while to search because it's still doing a bit of searching and it'll just kind of bring them up as you go. So it's actually searched all of the available similar fonts here. And so there are a few options. As you can see, there are some that kind of look similar, but maybe aren't quite right. And then here you can integrate this with Adobe's font service to download from there. And once you found a font that you like, you can just click on it and clicking here, it saves the font for you here in case you want to use it next with the text tool. You can also press this to favorite the text for later on. But for now, I'm just going to select my Arial Black font and press OK. Now I can go ahead and select the text tool. I'm going to try and recreate this super quickly. So I'm going to first of all change the color to the actual color of the title. Got caps lock on, so I'm going to start typing in and adjusting the text. So I'll put up to about 230. Uh, let's see, 250. So it's worth noting here that you're going to have to make some adjustments because the text may be a, a pre-made font, but is often modified. So in this particular case, I want to go over here to change the kerning. In other words, the space in between each letter. Once I start doing that, you can get a sense of it actually looking a lot more like the text with a simple change. So I believe I got it about right let's see about 63 i'll go for about 65 then or 66 yeah let's do that for now i think as well actually if i go back on the text this is arial and then it's black which is the thickest type of font that usually are for each font family i think bold is actually probably the best for this one aha there we go so that has made quite a bit of difference yeah so now I can line it up. I'm going to do edit, transform, I'm going to scale it up here. And then I'm going to go back and scale it again. Free transform, hold down shift to make sure it's not locked to the aspect ratio. So yeah, I would say for a few minutes work and thanks to Adobe's tools, I've done a pretty good job there. So I hope you found this quick video useful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish. Also, as always, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you want me to help out with, and I'll be happy to do so. And I'll see you all in the next video.